Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to write a Java program to perform the matrix multiplication. So before writing the program, we will see how multiplication can be performed. So let's take two matrices. First one is matrix A of the order 3 by 2, 3 rows and 2 columns. Another matrix B with the 2 rows and 3 columns. First of all, for the matrix multiplication to be possible, what is the condition? Yes. So number of columns must be equal to number of columns of matrix A must be equal to number of rows of matrix A. Right? That is the first condition. So if and only if that condition is true, then only we have to perform the matrix multiplication. Otherwise, you have to print an error message that multiplication is not possible. Okay? And after doing multiplication, the resultant array is C. Okay? The resultant array is C. And what will be the order of this matrix C? That is 3 by 3. So the rows of matrix A and the rows of matrix B will become the rows and columns of resultant matrix. And see this, how we got this one? So A of 0, 0 into B of 0, 0 plus A of 0, 1 into B of 1, 0. This is how we can calculate the first element in the resultant matrix. See this simple example. Suppose if you are asked to find the sum of all these numbers, how you are going to write the code? Initially, we will take the sum value as 0 and sum is equal to sum plus i. Yes or no? Sum is equal to sum plus i. First of all, we will add this one, right, to this sum and store the result again in the same variable. Next, we will add this 2, add this 3, 4 and 5. This is the logic what we use right similarly here also in our program we are going to write this very important statement c of ij is equal to c of ij plus a of ik into b of kj so this formula is used to find out a single element right so this is like 1 plus 2 okay 1 plus 2 so apply the same rule here sum is equal to take this as a sum sum is equal to sum plus i right so this formula is very very important for performing the matrix multiplication now let's see the program first of all import a util package because we are using the scanner class to read the number of rows and columns so name of the class is matrix multiplication demo and write the main method so declare the rows and columns for matrix A and rows and columns for matrix B. And create the scanner object. So object name is yes. So what is the use of scanner object? It is used to read input from the keyboard. It is used to read different types of inputs from the keyboard. Now here, first of all, read the rows of matrix 1 and read the columns of first matrix and read the rows of second matrix and read the columns of second matrix as i told you first of all we have to check whether matrix multiplication is possible or not so the condition is column one not equal to row two then directly print matrix multiplication is not possible okay so else else means uh, we are going to come to the else spot so here initialize or declare all the arrays required so first array is a and uh, next array is b and c is the resultant array okay so number of rows and number of columns and row 2 and column 2 now observe this for resultant matrix the rows will be will come from matrix a and columns will come from matrix b right so that's why row 1 and column 2 okay now uh, read the values of matrix a okay so use two for loops use two for loops to perform this okay and use a method called the next int method to read the uh, to read the values of matrix a and similarly read the values of matrix b similarly read the values of matrix b by using the next int method and this is very important right so this is the core part of your program see here c of ij is equal to c of uh, ij plus a of ik into b of kj so here I am using the shorthand assignment operator 
otherwise you can also write like this c of ij is equal to c of ij c of ij plus a of ik into b of kj right so remember here we are going to get uh, three for loops now what is the meaning of this c of ij is equal to zero it is something like uh, that what we have seen earlier sum is equal to zero initially we make some value as zero and then we'll keep on adding all the numbers right and finally as soon as you calculate uh, the elements immediately you print the elements okay this uh, print statement will print all the elements one by one as and when they are calculated now let's see the output first of all compile the program and next execute the program enter the number of rows in first matrix for example two rows number of columns in the first matrix three columns and rows in second matrix is three and columns is two right so enter the values of matrix a remember here you have to enter six values two rows and three columns right so two rows and three columns you can actually give in the matrix form one space two space three enter two space three space four so this is matrix a and give values for matrix b so what is the order of matrix b three by two three rows and two columns right so you can give like this matrix form one space two and press enter two space three and press enter give some random values two space five and press enter see here that is a resultant matrix observe the order of the resultant matrix will be two by two right two by two so this is the program hope you understood it thank you for watching